Look who's joined us here on Celtic TV. Yes, it is former Celtic defender Eric Sviachenko. Delighted to have you here, Eric. Thank you so much. Have you missed this Glasgow weather? Uh, I have actually, uh, but I've missed the stadium more. What what uh, what made you want to come back here and, and meet these fans again? I think the the way that I left was uh, so abrupt in some way. So I came home from training camp and and I, I had to leave for for Mitchell alone. And I didn't have the possibility to say goodbye to the fans, but also the, the players and the staff. So it's nice to be back with the family. So you're going to be on the pitch and you'll say a few words to the fans today, is that right? If I have the opportunity, I would like to thank them, yeah. Um, we've just been watching there some of the great goals from that game against Dundee. Against There's been some great performances this season. Have you managed to keep up with, with what the boys have been doing? Uh, I have for sure. Uh, I have my Celtic TV subscription. So, Good uh, man, I like that. I follow uh, I follow the team uh, quite closely uh, and it's, it's nice to see that they're doing well and and we talked about uh, Ryan Christie before. It's nice to see him doing so well. One of my uh, good friends. So uh, for sure, it's it's good to see the team performing well in a game like Dundee, five 0 It was it was some good goals. He's a player who just needed to get that chance, didn't he? He's, he's always had it in his locker, is the, the kind of phrase that we use. But once he got that chance, he's really taken it, taken it by both hands or both feet, isn't he? For sure. Like. I, I've been uh, with him for close time when he was at Celtic. Then he came on loan for Aberdeen for was it two seasons, and came back and uh, he just needed that chance. And uh, oh boy, he has taken it. What is it about this club, Eric? That you, you're maybe in a better place than most people to answer this. You come into the club, you're not familiar with it. It then stays with you. What is it about this club that, that sticks? Yeah, it, it's funny because. Uh, it's not it's not every day you see uh, players at a club for many many times or a lot of, of years you see the captain scott brown 500 games that's amazing but i think it's that feeling of of uh, the club buying 100 percent into the players they want them to perform as much as they can and when the players want the same then there, there comes this uh, connection in some way and and it's difficult to describe but it's easier when you go away and then you acknowledge what you actually have been in and that you miss it a lot yeah, so, you know, we hear a lot of Celtic players who have their time at Celtic and then perhaps they get an opportunity to go away and they think they're going away to bigger things and then they realise when they're away that they're actually not. Yeah, I, I can uh, I can uh, write my name on, on that one and say that when you leave this club, it, it's it's something special. And, and to be able to, to play in front of so many fans, they travel everywhere, uh, the support is everywhere. I, I read something about... Uh, Celtic Park being the seventh most visited place in Scotland of yeah. tourist destinations. That says something. Uh, two million people visited the, the stadium in 16, 17 season, the Invincible, the first season. So it just says a lot about the club. What are the moments or, or the key moment that stands out for you of your, your time here, Eric? Oh, there's been a lot. Uh, I think the, the contribution in, in general to have just made my mark in some way. I've played 60 odd games. Uh, and little uh, over two years, uh, under two years has been amazing. My goals, my goals has been good against Ross County here. The legend says it still travels. People always write to me because even though it wasn't the hardest shot it went in, the goal against Rangers goal against for me Rangers, was yeah. uh, was a big uh, big mark, uh, something that puts it up there as well.